Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 4.2 from the grade 12 Mathematical Literacy of September 2022, paper 1, that was written by the Gauteng Province learners, right? And this question, we are going to be um, calculating percentage, we're going to be calculating probability, we're going to be calculating the interquartile range, and we're also going to be calculating ratios, right? So if you know that you're currently struggling with this topic, please make sure that you watch this entire video tutorial because i'm going to be breaking down these concepts um for you i've also realized from just looking at the memo right that there has been i think a mistake um in the memo especially in question 4.2.4 4, right um so if you've basically or were actually confused as to how they calculated probability in question 4.2.4 but then they calculated it differently in question 4.2.5 please make sure that you watch this entire video tutorial because literally at this point this memo has a few things that i'm really debating because yeah but you'll see what i'm talking about um when we get to those questions so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> let's have a look right question 4.2 it says that the grade 12 of high school rogue de um, decided to host a movie night as a fundraiser for their metric farewell okay they in um they interviewed some learners and educators at school about the different genres of movies they would prefer refer to the pie chart below and answer the questions that follow okay so let's have a look at this pie chart right this pie chart basically represents the different genres of um, movies preferred by obviously the learners at the school as well as the educators all right we see that eight percent of the people interviewed prefer science fiction movies eight percent prefer foreign um eleven percent of the people interviewed prefer horror um 14 percent prefer drama 14 percent prefer romance 18 percent prefer action and 27 percent of the people that were interviewed prefer comedy okay so let's have a look at the questions that are given to us it says question 4.2.1 if 180 learners and 20 educators were interviewed how many people preferred science fiction movies okay so before we can even um answer this question we first need to determine how many people were interviewed okay so if you've got 80 learners and you've got 20 educators that means that a total of 200 people were interviewed okay and from that 200 people okay how many of them preferred science fiction movies okay so i'm gonna take it step by step okay so the total people interviewed right is equal to the 180 learners plus the 20 educators or teachers right so meaning that a total of 200 people were interviewed okay from the 200 people that were interviewed how many of those people preferred science fiction movies so we basically need to go to our pie chart and have a look at the percentage of people that prefer science fiction movies right and then here we see that the percentage of the people that were interviewed that prefer science fiction movies is eight percent right so what does that mean okay that basically means that eight percent of the 200 people that were interviewed prefer your science fiction movies okay so i already know that once our equation has been set up in this way it becomes very easy okay because we know that eight percent is the same as saying eight divided by 100 when we see of we know we multiply right and 200 okay so that if we punch 8 divided by 100 multiplied by 200 right the value that we obtain is the number of people right 
or people interviewed that prefer your science fiction movies okay so 8 divided by 10 times 200 gives us 16 right so that 16 basically means that 16 people out of the 200 people that were interviewed prefer science fiction okay so how will this question be marked you'll get one mark for obviously adding 180 plus 20 right you get one mark for that okay and you get another mark for um taking that eight percent multiplying it by two and a final mark for your final answer that, that is out of three okay let us go to the next question question 4.2.2 determine the mode of the data provided on the movie genres okay right we already know that the mode is the value that occurs the most okay so if we look at our data set okay we've got eight percent you've got eight percent we've got eleven percent you've got fourteen percent you've got fourteen percent again We've got 18% and you've got 27%, okay? So from this data set, which values occur the most, okay? So we can see that 8% as well as 14% are the values that basically occur the most because both of these uh, values occur twice, okay? So in this case, because you can already see that 8% and 14% occur the most right therefore our mode is going to be eight percent and fourteen percent okay so we're going to write that down all right question 4.2.3 determine the probability of randomly selecting a person who prefers ha who prefers the horror genre okay okay so with this question, how, I'm going to say this again, how do we calculate probability, guys, right? Probability is equal to, okay, probability is equal to favorable outcomes divided by the total outcomes, right? So in this case, okay, I think the best way in which we uh, can actually make you um, even understand what's happening, right? We basically need to actually determine how many people um, preferred horror okay so that you can see what's actually going on right so we already know that the people that actually prefer um horror is 11 percent of the 200 okay so for us to get how many people are contained in that 11 percent we basically take that 11 percent you multiply by 200 and that basically means 22 people right i prefer your horror okay so what does this mean in this case right what is our favorable outcomes right we want to determine the probability of randomly selecting a person right who prefers the horror genre right so our favorable outcome is the number of people that prefer the horror genre right and how many people prefer the horror genre right it is 22 people right okay and then what are our total outcomes how many people were interviewed okay there are 200 people interviewed okay so in this case if you take 22 divided by 200 you will get that the probability of randomly selecting a person who prefers the horror genre as 11 over 100 Okay, so basically, we could have also just looked at it in this way. What is the probability of randomly selecting a person that prefers the horror genre, right? 11%, right, is our favorable outcome divided by, in this pie chart, right, what is the total percentage when you add up all these percentages it's a hundred right so still you can also have you could have also looked at it in this way just take that 11 divided by 100 right and that is basically the probability of randomly selecting a person who prefers the horror genre right so that is basically 0.11 percent okay so you could have looked at it like that where you can convert that 11 percent um to how many people are contained in that 100 um in that 11 percent not 100 percent right or you could just take that 11 percent and you divide it by the total percentage okay um which is 100 okay the memo however 
said that the probability of selecting of randomly selecting a person who prefers um the horror genre is one out of seven and i do not agree with that okay one um, divided by 7 is actually equal to 0 0.14 um, to 8 is not correct okay so that's why I'm saying this this memo I, I feel like this I don't know I feel like there's something wrong with this memo okay um yeah I'm having a lot of deb uh, debates with this memo okay so I'm gonna stick to what I um I think right with this the probability of randomly selecting a person who prefers the horror genre is 11 um divided by 100 okay or 0 0.11 all right let's have a look at how they will basically mark this question right you will basically get one mark for taking that 11 right divided by 100 and it's literally out of two marks all right let's have a look at the next question question 4.2.4 what is the probability of randomly selecting a person who prefers the comedy genre right so same thing here right what is our favorable outcomes it's what 27 percent of people uh prefer the comedy genre what are our total outcomes divided by the total outcome, which is the total percentage, which is 100, right? Therefore, our answer will be 0 0.27. All right. So still one mark for that 27, another mark for 100. Okay. That is out of two marks. Okay. Or you could have looked at it this way. Okay. Where um you obviously convert that 27%. What is 27% of 200? So 27% of 200 is equal to 54 so that's the number of people that actually prefer comedy right okay so it's 54 people divided by the total number of people interviewed which is um 200 so 54 divided by 200 that is still 27 divided by 100 okay so you can look at it that way or that way whichever way is correct okay let's have a look at question 4.2.5 determine quartile 1 q1 if the interquartile range iqr is 10 percent and quartile 3 is 18 percent right okay from the previous question i already explained how we basically determine the interquartile range the interquartile range is equal to the quartile 3 minus quartile 1 right so we're going to basically use that as our starting point okay interquartile range right is equal to quartile three minus quartile one what are we given here we already we are given what your interquartile range is we are told that the interquartile range is equal to 10 percent right so we're going to write that down iqr is 10 percent which is equal to what else are we given we are told that quartile three is 18 percent so q3 when we see Q3, we're going to just substitute 18%, okay? And we basically want to determine what is Q1, okay? So all that we basically need to do here is we basically need to solve for Q1, right? So I'm going to show you two ways in which you can solve for Q1, right? You can just basically take 10% minus 18% is equal to negative q1 right i'm just going to remove the percentages right um because we already know that the answer that we obtain it needs to be in percentage form right so you can just say 10 minus 18 so 10 minus 18 is minus 8 which is equal to negative q1 okay we don't want to solve for negative q1 however we want to solve for q1 so you need to divide both sides by negative one therefore your q1 is equal to eight percent okay or you can basically say that okay we can basically move the q1 to the other side so that it becomes a positive q1 which is equal to the 18 percent is still left on this side right and this one if you move it to the other side it becomes negative um 10 percent so 18 minus 10 percent just gives you your eight percent therefore your q1 is equal to eight percent okay and how would they are uh, mark this question okay you'll get a one mark for um obviously 
um, saying 10%, substituting your IQR as 10% and your Q3 as 18%. Saying Q1 is equal to 18 minus 10% and your final mark for giving your final answer of what Q1 is. Write as a ratio the percentage of people preferring action movies right to those who prefer horror movies guys this question still especially with your racial questions they tell you exactly what you need to do okay we want to write as a ratio the percentage of people who prefer action movies to the people who prefer horror movies so we're gonna write it as it is we are not gonna complicate our lives okay so we're gonna literally write that as it is okay the percentage of people who prefer action to right that basically means that we're gonna have your colon there to the percentage of people that prefer your horror right what is the percentage of people that preferred action Right? So if you have a look at your pie chart, the percentage of people that preferred action was 18%. Two, what was the percentage of people that preferred horror? Right? That was 11%. Okay. However, the question basically says that we need to write your answer in unit form. Okay, so we need to simplify this further because remember, when we basically writing our ratio, it's one is to something, okay, in its simplest form, okay? So when you want our ratio to be in its simplest form, it is usually one is to something, okay? So we need to now continue to divide both sides by 18%. Okay. So if you divide both sides by 18%, divide both sides by 18%. Okay. You will get that your answer is 1. 1% one is to 11 over 18%. Okay. What does that mean? It means that 1% is to 0 0.6. One one six one percent. Okay, and that is basically your final answer. Okay, so in this case, right, you'll get one mark, right, for writing that eighteen percent is to eleven percent. One mark. Get another mark for obviously now um writing your rate in the simplest form, which is one percent is to zero point six one. Another mark. Okay, and this question is out of three marks. And that is basically it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, in the next video tutorial, guys, we are going to be dealing or tackling question 4.3. And question 4.3 deals with taxation, right? So I've done a lot of video tutorials on taxation on um my channel, right? Please make sure that you have a look at those video tutorials, right? And if you're still a bit confused as to what is happening when you're dealing with taxation, how we calculate tax, and so on and so forth, please make sure that you take a screenshot of this um, question, try it on your own, and then come back to the channel and see um, whether you are able to basically answer this question correctly okay so i'll see you guys on my next video tutorial guys if you are still watching um the video tutorial up to this point please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel